This is the Ethereum one day reading for June 13th, 2023. It's currently May 18th, 2023, 12, 10 a.m. Eastern time. The shuffle file that we're about to play for the June 13th reading was created on May 6th, 2023 at 10, 58 p.m. Eastern time. That's this file right here. So the overall theme and behavior for the day, we have um, a rally that offers an opportunity to open up a short position. Um, the Unicursal comes into play. We want to trade around an important range and a sharp drop that'll stand out on at least a one day chart here. Um, behavior around the highest high, an important price level where volume kind of like flattens out and uh, behavior around the low. So there's a lot of price change. Looks like out of the low to the upside um, and an important resistance level is highlighted. Um, within close proximity there to to the lowest low that'll probably illuminate itself a bit more as we progress through the reading um when we look at the the one month we've got the prudence card here so you want to be very cautious and we're right on track as far as where we should be eight of di discs eight of discs so we're right on track with the one month kind of schedule um we want to be very cautious with with a any actions that we take throughout the day today. Uh, behavior in the first two hours of trading, uh, unexpected move higher out of the low. Um, it's probably the day's low here in the first two hours. Either that or let's say the day's low in the first four hours, probably in the first two. Um, and on that unexpected move, we have this big, um, we have a, a peak or crest that forms our first day's high there between two and four and a decline out of that, that peak or crest that's pretty notable. That's where that unicursal uh, comes into play between roughly two and four. So we should see a pretty significant decline there. Um, and that offers the opportunity to open up a long position, which you'd want to close, it looks like between four and six uh, PM most likely. We'll get into that as we progress. Uh, there's a U-shaped dip between 4 and 6 a.m. Uh, forming near the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines and more sideways, uh, kind of like back and forth behavior. We have a sideways S formation within a channel that, that takes place between 6 and 8. Um, between 8 and 10, uh, between 8 and 10 a.m., we have a decline down to and through support. We meet another support bounce along that support sideways for a bit. And then we break down through multiple supports there. Um, and then that turns into a rally uh, around 10 o'clock along a diagonal trend line. Uh, that rally along the diagonal trend line uh, ends with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through the diagonal trend line, taking us into sideways rotation somewhere around 11 o'clock. Sideways rotation um, that ends with a fast sudden move higher. Um, it looks like probably close to 12 more sideways rotation into the two to 4 p.m. hour. Um, I'm picking up actually on there's there's probably some buying going on here, some some significant buying, like some some leadership is is like uh, providing support here on like the 13th. Um, but in any case, sideways rotation between 12 and four, really. Increasing with bullish momentum as we move forward in time. And then in that 4 to 6 p.m. hour, we have a real big move to the upside. Um, advice, uh, advice to take a, take profits on that long position there between 4 to 6. We got some sideways fluidity or price swings there between 6 and 8. A failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one-day scale there between 8 and 10. Followed by a decline through key support there between 8 and 10. And then between 10 and 12, we have... Um, three pokes through the same price level and then a sharp drop off of that third poke. However, there's a high there at the end of the day too. So be mindful of those three pokes taking us into a high. Uh, I prob I'd probably count on the high being between four and six. We have a high correlation at the end of the day, but, but I'm advised to trade there between four and six. And that might very well be because that's where the high is. Sometimes it's not right on point with the correlations, but often, it, most of the time it is. In any case, that's Ethereum for the 13th of June, 2023. Don't forget to follow that rule of karma. My, my friends, it's super important. You do so here at the resources tab of our website, Tarot for Traders. 5% of the profits should be donated here, uh, back to the channel. 5% of the profits should be donated forward here to one of these charities. And then the, the remaining 90, spend it out of love. Those are my angel investors following that, the rule of karma. As long as you follow that rule of karma, the universe it's going to send it back to you tenfold through this channel, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.